TV KPM Wait, what is this? I know how human body looks, but when it comes to skeleton, it's very confusing. Which one comes first? Is this the head? Okay, I think this is the hand. Hi, Devia. Hi, teacher. What are you doing? Teacher, I know how human body works, you know, okay. but when it comes to skeleton, this is really confusing. See, I don't know what this is. I don't know where this oh. goes. <laughs> okay, never mind, Divya. Right. You want to know more about it? Yes. You have to join my class. Okay? All right, I can't wait. <laughs> Just follow me to the class. Okay. All right. <laughs>and together today we are into standard 5 level 2 science and as you have watched the studio guest the amazing teacher that we have on board is teacher Davy from SK2 Taman Selayang hello teacher hi how are you? I'm great Divya how about you very good That's and nice. not forgetting we also have our amazing interpreter on board with us which is Chegu Muhammad Bukhari as well so without further ado, teacher, I'm very excited to get on board and to learn a lot more about what we saw earlier, which yes. was the complicated skeleton, exactly. right? People at home, if you are also confused like what I was, you know, very confused about how to fix a skeleton, we have Chegu Devi. Teacher Devi with us. So teacher, bring us on. Yeah, Devi, today we are going to learn about part of the bones, what are the bones we have and then we are going to learn about the function of the bones and uh, later on we are going to learn about joints as well. Right, right. there's a lot about body parts exactly. that we are learning today, people at home, right? Yes. So what do we have for this first segment? Okay, for the first segment we are going to learn about um, humans, mm -hmm. human skeletal system and its function, okay? Okay. Alright, so for the human skeletal system, you we are going to basic, it's about the uh, uh, main five skeletal system that we have. Mm -hmm. There are skull, rib, hand bone, mm -hmm. leg bone and back bone. So this is all about bones in our body, right? Yes, these are the main, main bones. Main ones, right. Yes. So day to day, when we, when we go through the day to day life, yes. we don't always focus on the ribs and the, the bones exactly, in our body. I'm exactly, I'm glad yeah. we get to learn this today, right? Yes. Yes, teacher, please. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look mm -hmm. for the first thing, skull. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you know where the skull is? Skull is on my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here, yeah, on my head, yeah. right? Okay, the skull is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it protects. So later, we'll see what are the things. Okay, the skull protects our brain from injury. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you see the skull, okay, you maybe, uh, you might, can uh, just knock, you know, you can press. Yeah. You can see how you feel. Is this soft? It's very or? hard. Very hard, right? Right. Okay, that's how. And you actually how, touch, it's very hard. Yeah, so that it can protect our What's head. Head? Yeah. What's inside our head here? Skull. Skull brains. protecting. Yeah, yes. exactly. Very brains. good. Okay, skull protecting our brain from mm -hmm. injury. Okay. Actually, no skull. Mm -hmm. When you fall, what will happen? Hurt. Hurt our head, brain, exactly. damage and all, right? Yes. So, now we go to next. It's about this is the skull. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next is the backbone. This okay. is the backbone. Can you see the backbone? Okay, yes. the backbone. It's a bit it's slightly bent, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Our okay, our backbone, it protects, uh, provides support to our body. That's mm -hmm. why we can we can stand. We can stand. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then we can just move slide or front, back, everything like because of the backbone. Right. Okay? okay. So it really helps support to our body. Mm -hmm. Alright, next uh, we are going to learn about uh, ribs. Okay, ribs. If you, when you look at the ribs, mm -hmm. the ribs here, okay, it protects our, what's that, Organs. lungs. Here got lungs, right. even our stomach, mm -hmm. our liver, our heart. So everything, everything protects 
by our yeah, ribs. Everything around this area, like yes. the lungs, are not protected by ribs. Yeah, these are the yeah. organs that are protected by our ribs here. Mm -hmm. Okay, then next we are going to learn about. Okay, ribs done. Mm -hmm. Okay, hand bone and leg bone. Okay, if you look at the hand bone here, these are the hand bone. Eh? Yeah. Okay, and the leg bone. Okay, it's the main thing is allows the support to the body. That's mm -hmm. why we can stand, we can move. Okay, allow the movement as well. Mr. Okay, Mr. Skeleton is moving very well. <laughs> yeah, the bones of the hands and legs provide support and movement. Mm, okay, yep. so these are the things we should know the main about mm -hmm. the... Uh, bones, yep. the main hand bones. Bone. Yep. Yeah, hand bones, leg bones, they're already two, mm -hmm. but same uh, uh, functions okay. for the hand bone and leg bone okay. and the rib skull. As okay. Well. okay, one, two, three, four, one more is what? So that's finished. So these are right. the uh, five bones that we have need to know mm -hmm. and uh, what are the things they do, the functions of the bones. Mm -hmm. all right? So the skull, yeah. the rib and hand bone and leg bone. Yes, all. yes. So we are going to learn a lot more about this, right? Uh, yeah, correct. And uh, let's, before that, quickly watch a uh, video content sure. uh, on our skeleton, Mr. Yeah. Skeleton that we are speaking yeah. about today. Yeah, let us see the... Right, okay. Way. All right. Okay, what you can see here? Divya. I see a girl walking, you know, and uh, there's another girl holding a gift. Why she can walk? She Why can she walk? can stand? Right, yeah. Okay, from what you thought is, she can walk because uh, her leg bone are supporting her. Exactly. And uh, she can uh, move her hands because Very her good. hand bones are supporting ah, her. And, and she can hold the gift, right? Exactly. Because her hand bones are supporting yes, her. Yes, these are the things. Okay, I give you three stars for this. Wow, because we have can I get three to stars. All the, yeah, I give you three stars <laughs> because we know we can move, we can walk, we can sit, we can do any other activities because of the bones. We mm -hmm. have, alright? Right. So these are the things you should know. And then maybe we can try out one question here. Uh, maybe uh, Divya can do uh, match the bones that I've given there. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you match which are the bones that okay. we have learned just now? Alright, so it's a task for me. So people yeah. at home, help me out here, right? So if I am matching it correctly. So we have... Backbone, ah, I say backbone because it's a bit easier to identify, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So backbone is this. Yeah. Yeah. And Another then, one more star for you. Yes. All right, correct. So should Next. I go on? Yes, yes, All go right. on. Just go on. So then we have the rib. Easy to remember rib because it looks like a cage, cage you know? Yeah, exactly. So it looks like a cage, easier to remember. So this is a rib. And then we have Skull. Skull is is the one that always protects our head and the brain yes, and all, right? Very so good. That is skull. And then we have hand bone. Ta-da! Uh -huh. Hand bone and last but not least, leg bone. Yeah. And something that yes. we cannot live, cannot walk, you know, if we cannot move, right? Since you've got Five correct. I give you yes. five stars for you, Divya. Right, okay. So five, five stars, stars for me. For me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, right. So now we're done about bones. Why not we go to the functions? Okay. okay. So I want you to match the functions of the bone just now. You just okay. mentioned. Okay, so that was skull, yeah. rib, backbone, hand bone, and leg bone. So let me just look at the functions. Protect internal organs. Ah, what does protect internal organs? Let me think. So students at home, people at home, you can help me out here. You know, what actually protects the internal organ? Is it rib? Yes. Yes. Okay. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going back to learning more about my body, right? Through mm -hmm. science. That's amazing. Protect our brains, huh? This is ah, what I know. <laughs> just this is what we learned, right? We, yes. It really protects our brain, which is skull. So I'm going to put it here. Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> Supports the body. Is it backbone? Yes, okay. That's correct. So backbone supports the body. Mm, now and the two more to go. Support and movement. Support huh. and movement. This both looks pretty similar, right? And I think this goes for hand and leg, right, exactly. teacher? Exactly. Right. So hand correct. and as well as a leg. Yeah. So there you have it. So we give you already <laughs> five, eight. 
po. I give an extra two extra stars. Two so star. you get ten stars in just in one minute. You know, right. you get the minute. All right. So it's yes. amazing how human skeleton works. Each. Uh, in terms of skull, rib, backbone, hand bone, leg bone, everything comes with a function on its own, right? Yes, It's yes. amazing how human body works, really. That's right. <laughs> you say, if no bones, you can imagine what will happen. I know. Okay, what so, do you think will happen if there's no bone in our body? Right. What do you think, Divya? What do I you have no idea. But, <laughs> uh, you know, people at home keep thinking about it. What would really happen if there's no bones in our body? You know, while you give it a thought, we'll go for a very short commercial break and we'll be back soon. TV KPM. We are back, and did you think about what will happen to our body if there is no skeleton? And again, let's jump back into Teacher Devi with us. Hi, Teacher. We're Hi, back. Divya, yes. <laughs> so, okay, yes. So, tell me, what do we have for this segment? Excited about to learn a lot more about okay, skeleton. Before right? they can figure out what will happen with no bones, um, I think I'll become figured... like what. Yeah, I figured out if we have, uh, you know, if we have no bones, what will happen to our body? It will become zombies, right? We'll just <laughs> fly around everywhere. <laughs> can, can you imagine how is the worm? Do yeah, yeah, bone? yeah. Worm just like seen. that? Yeah. It can't stand up yeah, can't because it doesn't have up. a bone? Exactly. Right. So that's what will happen if we have no bones. Okay, for today, okay. after this, uh, we mm -hmm. are going to learn about... Okay, positions of joints. Position of joints. Yeah, All right. Okay. In between the skeletons, right? In yeah. between the bones, bones. right? Yes. Okay. In between the bones. Okay. okay. If you look at the position of joints, okay, the joints is a, okay, the joint is a place where two or more bones are joined together. Okay, for mm -hmm. example, you can see next to you, there's a skeleton there. So you down. can see two bones joined together. Can you hold that? The bones there down at the hand. Yeah, there are two bones joined. You can see Hello. the joints there. All right. <laughs> These are the okay. uh, meaning, of, what's the meaning of joints? Mm -hmm. Okay, next we are going to learn about position of joints in the human body. Okay, there are a few positions of uh, joints in human body. Okay, there's a function of joints here. Okay, joints can make us to move. Okay. Okay, let's say you want to move your hand. How do you move your hand? Move my hand? Yeah. Like, How, like there are that, many ways like you can that. move. Yes. So there are few joints works there. Okay. okay. The here got joint at the wrist. All right. Your fingers. Number one. Okay, even your Finger, hand. Finger, there's a lot, right? Yeah. This, I can move this, I can move this, I can move this. Yes, yes. There's a lot of movement. Even one finger, there are three joints. One. Two, two, three, three. right? Yes, ah. exactly. Okay, so let us see the f and uh, one more thing. If have you seen uh, some people that doing yoga? Mm -hmm. Okay, when they doing yoga, you can see the flexibility of their body. Okay, how they can they move. can bend, bend their, their body, body yeah, until we can't imagine. Really, we can do that or yeah. not? Actually, when you do it. Okay, and you practice, it will make perfect. You can do ah. whatever you want. It will be very flexible. So bones can bend also. Exactly. That's, That's why one. we have the joints. Yes, right? the joints. Mm, interesting. That's the joints. Okay, and then we go to the function of joints here. Okay, joints here, the joint at the neck mm -hmm. makes turning and rotation of the head possible. Ah. Can you do that? If you can turning. rotate, how you rotate? Like that? Ah, ah, this will so rotate. good. <laughs> we go up and down. We do exercise left yeah. and right. Correct? Correct? Okay, that's we call the function of joint. The first function. Mm -hmm. so actually, there are many. Okay, mm -hmm. we go to next. Okay, even uh, you can see the short joints at the shoulder. You have a shoulder right here. Yes. Hand, backbone makes mm -hmm. movement to uh, of the upper body is possible okay mm -hmm. so if you just move in front or move back or side even your shoulder you want to bend or your body so that's how 
the joints. So the joints uh, work together. Work together. Yes. Ah, okay, right? these are the things, the important for the joints. Okay, these are the functions of joints. Okay, next, if you see people playing uh, handball, rugby, whatever, mm -hmm. they use their joint, even badminton. Okay. okay, there's a joint that the shoulder allows the arms to move back and forth. Okay, okay. forward to for the to the sides to the rotations, everything. Mm -hmm. Basically so, movements, right? Yeah, joints yeah. always help us to move. Mm -hmm. Not only bones, uh, not if, let's say, you just imagine if there is no joint, mm -hmm. only go bones, mm -hmm. what will happen? Ha, How no are you going joints. to see without <laughs> joints? If you, let's say there's a bone, yeah. okay, when you want to sit, how are you going to sit? See, I cannot think of uh, the answer because I cannot imagine not having joints. joints. Okay, you Not will be like joints. a robot. Even yeah, you like want a robot. If you want to lying down, also you just fall like yourself. Like you that. cannot yeah. bend your body. Really, so yes, uh, robot. joints. Okay, mm -hmm. that's important of joints here. This is the functions mm -hmm. that we should know. The joints really help human to move. Okay. Not only bones. Mm -hmm. They come yeah. together with the joints. Joints. Same package. Must have. Bones and joints together. Yes, yes. Okay, before that, can okay. you find out where are the joints? Okay, I have prepared the plus in there. Okay, yes, okay. I have it. Uh, yeah, please uh, figure out where So, are I find the... out where the joints are in and this Mr. She... Skeleton's body. So, mm -hmm. are we ready, people at home? We are going to find out where are the joints located in the body of this Mr. Skeleton, right? Oh, yes. So, let's begin. So when I look at my own body, easy to identify. So let's I'm just gonna do the same thing. So when it comes to hand, ah, that's just find one out. Here, Where is it? right? Hmm. Easy to move our hand. shoulder. Yeah, shoulder. And the shoulder part, okay? Correct. Right. And then to move our, you know, arm. Arms. Like arm we have here. Yeah. Number two. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Mr. Skeleton, if I hurt you. <laughs> Let me just keep, stick this. Right. And one is at the wrist, wrist. right? You can yes. move your fingers. How about fingers? Fingers, that's lot. Ah, just put for one finger. Okay, enough. I'll put for one mm. finger. So, sorry, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> right. So, I put here. Yeah. So, I, I hope it's correct. That's one. Okay. Yeah, correct. Right, so what else are? Huh? Where else we have our... How about our backbone, backbone. here? Where you think uh, the joint there? That at the, I think at the tip, at the end exactly. of that backbone, yes, so yes. that we can bend We can forward. bend on our uh, upper, okay, yes. here. Okay, so I hope it's this. Uh-huh. How about okay. your leg? Okay. And then do we go to the leg? Leg, we have... I hope we have one here. Yes. Am I right? Yes, correct, Divya. So Very I'm good. gonna just guess according to my body, right? Okay. So then we have one here. I'm thinking how many stars I'm going to give you. Yes, give You're me all so the stars you can teach you. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> right. Hmm. Am I right? Is that all? Or do we have more joints? Actually, there are more that's joints. That's a lot more. Yeah, there are more. Okay, okay. anyway, that's great. Okay. It's very good. Okay, if you manage to get where the joints are. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to another activity for okay, today. Okay, so we have another activity as well. Yes. Right. So before that, I want to give you for that how many... Just now I got 10 stars. Yes, just now for I this, 10 stars. I give you another 4 stars. 14 stars. 14 stars. Wow, it's really, very really good. Okay, now... Right, okay. <laughs> okay, let us go to the activity today. Okay. So I want you to do the activity. Okay, I want you to uh, fix uh, using a uh, cotton buds. Okay, okay, so we're gonna fix skeleton using yeah. cotton, cotton bud. bud. So yeah. this is how it looks, and uh, we are gonna be fixing using just cotton buds. Okay. And you need a uh, double sided. Yes, cotton buds and double sided. Right. Yeah. So we begin, right? Yes. So. People at home, if you want to give it a try, you can as well. You can just have a cardboard and you can just get cotton buds and a double side tape. And um, we're going to show you how to do the skeleton, right? Hmm. So we're going to stick it. They also can use not only cotton bud, they can use a uh, toothpick. They, might, uh, they may use uh, what... Uh, a matchstick, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. uh, these are the things, even straw so they can use, yeah. replacing the cotton buds. 
So I'm going to give it a try. Mm -hmm. So I might not be very accurately presenting this Mr. Skeleton here, but I'm going to try, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut this cotton bud as well. So I can stick it here. So a bit more of the double tape. Mm -hmm. So if you're at home, if you know, if your parents are around and I suggest you give it a try, you know, you'll be able to understand yes, the yes. skeleton a bit better when you actually do it hands-on, right teacher? Yeah. So I'm so glad you're giving me this activity to do. <laughs> So I'll be able to from, learn. From there, you can learn where are the skeleton. Yes. I mean, the part of the bones, mm -hmm. you know, hand bones, back bones. I'll be able to remember as well. Mm. Okay. So with this, yeah, I enough. think I'm just gonna. Right. So I think it, it's. I'm gonna show the final product how it actually looks when we do this skeleton, right? Mm -hmm. So, the final product of the skeleton, and this is how it looks. Yeah. Right, yes. so this is the skeleton, and uh, the cotton buds is the ribcage, right, teacher? Exactly. And I feel very, very proud <laughs> that we can actually create a skeleton on board like this, you know? Mr. Skeleton will be very proud. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. It will be like thinking of someone else in the yes, studio. Yes, it's, it's the same Mr. Skeleton, it's you. <laughs> okay. All right. So, this is the way how we create a skeleton at home. Mm -hmm. If uh, the ch children don't have a uh, tooth, uh, I mean a uh, cotton bus, Can they may be replaced with a matchstick, uh, okay. toothpick and a straw as well. Okay. Yeah. So you can be creative at your own uh, house in terms of creating Mr. Skeleton. So you can understand the human body, the skeleton bones and uh, the functions a bit more. So it's easier for you as well, uh, people at home. So with that, we'll take a very short commercial break and uh, we'll come back to learn a lot more together with Teacher Devi. Bye-bye. TV KPM. Welcome back, everyone, and this is the final segment that we have with together Chegu, uh, Teacher Devi, and learning a lot more about skeleton science and uh, a lot more. So let's get back into it, right? So yes. Teacher, what do we have? Yes, Divya. Okay, before that, I want you to watch a video. Mm -hmm. Okay, regarding joints. Okay. Okay. Just have a look now. Just come watch us. There's a lot of joint movement there, right? Eh? Exactly. What you could find just now you watch what you find out from there. I realize that human body, that's a lot of uh, movements that can be done to the joints, you know, the hips, the legs, a what lot are of the activities there. Right. Just now? That's that's dancing, yeah, that's that's football, playing and all, right? Yes. Yeah. So, so you can see when we have the joints there, the joints helping us to dance to play football, not only playing football, even other games also. And we know there are so many uh, things we can do because of joints, okay? okay? So now, I have a question to you. Okay. okay. Other than uh, dancing and uh, playing football, mm -hmm. what are the activities they can do using joints? Using joints. Yeah. Other activities, you know, activities something like doing house chores, Sweeping, 
right, good. You know, moping, you know, coloring when yeah. you use your hands. So all yeah. these activities, basically every activity, right, teacher? Everything. We have to use the bones and the joints and yes, all. Yes, whatever we are doing in our daily life, you need joints. Even you want to comb your hair, mm -hmm. you know, you want to put in your dress, whatever, you need joints. If yep. you can't do anything. Okay? okay, that's why joints are very important to us. Okay, I have one question to you. Another okay. one more question. All right. Okay, what do you think? How many bones are there in our hand? One in our hand. hand. Just one, one hand. hand. Whole hand. <gasps> it's a tricky question. I think uh, I know why, how many bones are in our entire body. How I think many? it's 206. 206. Exactly. I think I've learned it. But hand, I'm going to just guess. Yeah, oh my. 50. Just, 50. One hand, there are 27. 27, bones. right. Yes, okay. There are so many bones in our hand. Why is that? Why we need more bones? Hand, because there's a lot of movements using our hand. We write, we talk, yes, you know. Yes, that's great. <laughs> well done, Divya. Okay, that means I give you overall, we have already 14 stars, right? Yeah. I add another three more stars for Yay, this. Yay, so that answer. is my, yeah. you know, stars for today that I've collected. Thank you so much, Teacher Devi. Yeah. And uh, maybe we can uh, do a quick, you know, conclusion, a mm. quick summary of what we've learned today to everyone okay, at home. Okay, today we have learned about... An, type of bones that mean five bones and we also learn about function of bones and we also learn about the function of joints as well okay so students might know that there are so many functions of joints then uh, they can movement whatever they are doing all related to the joints and bones as well okay all right. and uh, I think that's all from yeah. here and then maybe we can refer whatever the students want to refer yeah if everyone at home if you like to do exercise you like to find the material where they can find it. Yes, they they may find it at the Delima KPM website. Yes. So anyone you all want to find any activities, just go to the Delima KPM website. Okay, you will find more activities regarding this topic. All right. With that, everyone at home, thank you so much for joining and thank you so much to Teacher Devi all the way from SK to Taman Slayang for teaching us a lot more about the human body, skeleton and the joints and a lot more, right? We really have learned a lot. And thank you so much to our interpreter as well, uh, Chegu Muhammad Bukhari for amazingly guiding us through. So with that, we'll be back uh, next round yes. for, with an amazing session of course, right teachers? So yes. with that everyone, take care, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.